I'm going to start by asking you each, in that order, to just tell us a little bit about yourselves and how you got to this conversation. What connects you with this conversation here? AJ. Thank you. Um, so, as Nadav said, my real job is I work for All Steel and I lead our A&D team across North America, which is a super fun job. Um, but my special interest has been designing for environments for children and adults with autism. And I have a really strong passion for that because when my son was 18 months old, he regressed significantly into the world of autism. And it was very traumatic. And at that time, to put some things in perspective, you know, 10 years before he had his diagnosis, in the United States, um, one out of 10,000 children had autism. When he was diagnosed, it was one out of 1,000. Now we're looking at rates of anywhere from one out of 50 to one out of 80. And in some populations, like our Somali population in Minnesota, it's one out of 30. So it's been a, it's been a long journey. <laughs> My son is almost 20 years old now. And um, I've delved in the easiest thing for me to do was to figure out how to design spaces. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a speech therapist. I'm not an occupational therapist. But I could understand, and I really started looking at how these individuals saw the world and how important the environment was for them. So not only from that aspect, but also the toxicology. I have a very, very strong opinion that the environment and what these kids are getting exposed to is causing this epidemic. And it's somewhat controversial, but I have a very, very <coughs> strong opinion on that. So I've been very involved with LEAD, been a presenter for USGBC, taught at the University of Minnesota in sustainability, and so I'm very concerned about toxicology and how the environment has um, that play into an, any individual, whether you're 65 or six. So that's Thanks, my background. AJ. 